criticism with Björn Falkevik. So, we're sitting here at the restaurant 1900 and it's a Monday evening. And I'm here with Stefan Christens. Yeah, it's from 23 Video. And he's promised me to tell me about the new feature that's coming up in 23 Video. So, Stefan, what's happening? Um, well, we're doing quite a lot, in fact. I think we're uh, building uh, global distribution of our videos. We're rebuilding our analytics stuff. We're actually coming out with some uh, pretty cool features that actually enable you to set up like sections within uh, video players or video streams, enabling people to kind of jump along as they go along in, uh, in the video. And we're actually releasing subtitles as well. About uh, jumping within videos, will I get, will I get a tag? Uh, will I get a URL so I can link straight into? Exactly, exactly. And you'll even do like Google search indexing, so you'll get a well one thumbnail for each section. You can set up like a custom thumbnail. It'll be pushed to Google. You can share it on Facebook. You'll get a URL, so it actually feel like you have a very specific clip that's only just part of a bigger clip. Cool. Uh, you told me before about uh, iPhone SDK. What will that uh, deliver? So it's basically um, an open source SDK that you can use to uh, to have the basis of a um, of an iPhone app or an iPad app. So it's pretty simple, actually. It's something that you import into your your Apple Xcode builder, or whatever, and you can basically use it to uh, to set up a, a video site. And we'll actually manage to do some push notifications as well. So it's going to be an integrated um, well iOS app for for your enjoying pleasure. So it's mostly good. Uh, I was thinking about the, the, the push notification. I mean, uh, I've been following some discussion on, online recently about uh, the news feed and video in news feed. And you, have you been thinking about the combination of uh, news integration with the push? Yeah, I think that's really the interesting thing is that we'll just like we wouldn't put out the uh, the app for you. So we're basically like allowing people to build like custom apps. So if you're um, if you're the Danish Royal Fear, so you actually want to expose all your like your news features. You want to have people uh, subscribe to your um, to your shows. You want to have people buy tickets, but you also want to push videos out there. So the SDK is allowing you to basically build apps that are going to be part of a bigger Royal Fear app or like a, a cooking app, whatever. So uh, so it's actually a, a bigger part. It's actually a small part of a bigger hole if you want to um, to go that route. Uh, I mean, we have a bit of a beef with uh, you like the video site and I like the embed. But uh, to be fair, so why should I choose a video site compared with uh, working with the embed? You should choose both of them. So if the video site is going to be the source of the embed in other cases. It's just a matter of which video site you're using for it and how you're using that video site. So you could use Facebook or Vimeo as a part of, uh, well, basically to have your videos hosted. But you're still going to lose out on uh, on a lot of like customer loyalty. You're going to lose out of the, all the feature set that, that comes with like, actually owning the archive as well, like podcasting, mobile sites, all the kind of stuff. Um, and you should still do be doing embeds, obviously. Like you want to have your stuff embedded on Facebook. You want to have your stuff embedded on people's blog. You want to actually have oh, all the sharing features, all the Facebook integration, all the kind of social sharing that we're used to from other sites. Okay, I agree on the archive part. part. That's kind of convenient and getting the videos straight into an archive when you upload it and you can iframe that into your existing site. Sure. But it's, it's just the, 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 the semantics of having a video site. I mean, all the rest of your content. Uh, that's the part that I'm like, come on, you have so much more stuff that you want to integrate with your video. Mm. As I think you're, you're disagreeing with the semantics of having a video site that's very excluded from everything else. So I think you're disagreeing with the fact that uh, that we try to, well, actually I wouldn't say that we even try to say you should only have video. You should integrate your video with everything else and that's why we build APIs so you can integrate your videos with your articles, you can uh, integrate your videos into your news feeds and then distribute it to well, Twitter or whatever. So it's, it is a matter of like using video as a communication tool, as a, as a part of like the toolbox. Um, and having a video site as a video archive that makes stuff searchable, makes it indexable by Google, all that kind of stuff is just one, well, I guess one tool in a bigger toolbox. And uh, and if you don't want to necessarily call the video site, you can call the video archive or you can use it. Well, it's just a matter of having like one place where you control everything, where you can track everything, where people can upload stuff to you. So it's, it's a matter of having, I guess, a matter of um, oh, a degree of control, I guess. About... Um Statistics. I mean, you know me. I'm a big fan of your statistic page. And uh, what what new can we expect on the analytics part? Um, actually, I shouldn't say too much about this. It's uh, it's one of the features that's uh, certainly coming up in uh, in the spring. But I shouldn't say all well, too much publicly. I guess so. It's a matter of of bringing in a lot of the stuff that's 
actually more video site specific, so actually being able to track more information about where people are coming from when they're playing your videos, but also how are people actually moving through your video site, so how many videos are they playing per session, how are they moving from one video to, to, to another, even if they're just playing more videos as a part of one embed. When uh, can I hear more about it? Uh, soon. So it's, uh, it's in development and it's, uh, it's coming out. Cool. Thanks, Stefan. Thanks. And peace out.